Welcome biologists, to this session we're going to take a look at what a nucleotide is and the difference between a DNA and an RNA nucleotide. So this is the general overall structure of a nucleotide, which is comprised of a phosphate group, a pentose sugar, so pent stands for five, so we've got a five carbon sugar here, and then we've got a nitrogenous base, so a, a base made from nitrogen. Now as you can see here, my pyrimidine base consists of one carbon ring with nitrogen in it, Whereas a purine base is comprised of two carbon rings together. Again, that's got nitrogen in it because they are both nitrogenous bases. So this is the general structure of a nucleotide. And this can change depending upon whether it's asking you about a DNA or an RNA nucleotide. So that's just a little bit more detail about those nucleotides. These are the different types of nitrogenous bases, which you may have heard of. And we're going to now go on to look at the difference between a DNA and an RNA nucleotide. So as you can see here, this is quite a nice picture because it breaks it down for you. This is what the phosphate group looks like. Um, the sugar, the pentose sugar, can differ between a RNA or a DNA nucleotide. So if I've got an RNA nucleotide, my pentose sugar is a ribose sugar. Whereas if I have a DNA nucleotide, I've got a deoxyribose pentose sugar. If I have a RNA nucleotide, it means that my base can either be A, G, C, or U, if it's RNA. If it's a DNA base, then it can either be a T, an A, a G, or a C. So the main difference here between those bases is that in, in, in an RNA nucleotide, I have uracil, and in a DNA, I have thymine. Uh, so basically in an RNA, the, the your thymine is replaced by uracil. So you have no thymine in an RNA base. And um, that's about it, guys, that you need to know about the differences between DNA and RNA nucleotides. Good luck with your exams. Remember, don't use the words it, they, amount, or size. And guys, when they're asking you about to draw a nucleotide, draw in paints a thousand words. So please draw to help you with your exams. And it might ask you, for example, to draw a general nucleotide or a DNA or an RNA nucleotide. So please make sure you're annotating your questions to make sure you're drawing the correct one. Good luck with your studies.